Building your website can be daunting and time-consuming, but it doesn't have to be that way. Pixpa makes it easy for you to build your website without touching a line of code. In this video, we'll cover the essential steps to creating your website on Pixpa. To start building your website, head over to the Websites section. You'll see three tabs, Menu, Options, and Tools. The Menu tab is where you manage all the pages for your website. The Options tab is where you manage your site's visibility, pre-footer, default text labels, third-party integrations, and several other aspects of your site. The Tools tab gives you access to many built-in tools to promote your website. You can manage your site's SEO and social media connections from here. You can also set up marketing pop-ups, announcement bar, and other tools to convert website visitors into customers and subscribers. In this video, we'll focus on how you can add and manage your website's content in the Menu tab. To add a new page to your website, click the Add Page button. Let me quickly walk you through the different types of pages you can create. The first and most important page type you can add to your website is a page. Pages give you flexibility to add any kind of content to your website. Pages can have text and image blocks, media embeds, forms, store and blog feeds, and much more. Next up are galleries. If you're creating a portfolio website, you'll be using galleries a lot. You can add images, videos, and HTML slides to a gallery. Looking to sell your images as prints and downloads? You can do that using e-commerce galleries. You can add a link to your site menu to direct your site visitors to any page within or outside your website. Add a blog to your website to start publishing articles, news items, and sharing your stories. You can even add multiple blogs to your website. Add a storefront page to start selling on your website. You can add products and manage all the e-commerce settings from the store section. The Client Spotlight page lets you feature client albums on your website and enables your clients to access their images easily. Now that you've explored the types of pages you can add to your website, let's talk about how you can organize your site menu. Folders enable you to do just that. Folders are used to group multiple pages and help you structure your website menu. Folders can be included in your website as a listing page or added as a drop-down menu item in the site navigation. Separators enable you to add space or a text label between your menu items and structure your site menu visually. Whenever you add a new page, it gets added to the end of the site menu. You can sequence pages by simply dragging them into the desired position in the menu. You can also drag any page into a folder and make it a part of the folder. You can click on any menu item to edit its content. You can also access page options by clicking on the blue dots. Using the Page Options drop-down, you can duplicate the page. Make it the home page for your website, hide the page from your site menu, or even delete the page. Note that you can recover any deleted pages within 30 days of deletion. When you start your trial, your website will have some demo pages. You can use them as a starting point or delete the demo content to start from scratch. To view your live website anytime, click the View Site button. If you have any questions, reach out to us on live chat or email. We are always here to help.